Hey friends, welcome back. So today let's talk about magnesium. Magnesium is a popular supplement. You know, I always like to figure out what people are buying when it comes to supplement. I've been in this space since 2006. So I'm always curious to see, you know, what people are taking and why. And one of the products that I see people taking and as a magnesium supplement, and I'm not gonna name the brand, but it's, it contains a lot of magnesium citrate. So in today's video, I wanna tell you about the different types of magnesium how they work and how to think through magnesium because I don't want you to be taking some form of magnesium that you think is doing something, but it's really doing something else. So with that, let's talk about magnesium citrate. And this is the company that, again, a lot of people are taking this product. I'm not gonna name names. I don't wanna get in trouble. Uh, it's pretty affordable. It's really cheap actually. Uh, and it says it has a lot of magnesium in it, but the form is magnesium citrate. Okay, magnesium citrate is a great form if you want to have a bowel movement. So here's what's unique about magnesium citrate is it ionizes just like sodium chloride. If you think about table salt from Redmond Real Salt to Morton Table Salt, it's two ions, okay? So it's just, it's not a chelated magnesium that's gonna be absorbed through the amino acid receptors like the Albion raw materials, okay? We'll talk about that in a minute, but just think magnesium citrate, again, great for inducing bowel movement, not so optimal for systemic absorption of magnesium. So if you're constipated, uh, if you wanna have a coffee enema, for example, you need to uh, go in and, and get maybe a colonoscopy, I would recommend loading up on magnesium citrate. Now, if you're like, man, I've, I've been doing a lot of exercise, I'm going in the sauna, I'm doing intermittent fasting, I wanna improve my magnesium absorption levels, then you wanna look at things like diamagnesium malate, magnesium bisglycinate chelate. So these are chelated magnesium to amino acids or malic acid, which is a Krebs cycle intermediate, okay? Uh, the, the, common, the most common amino acid that magnesium is chelated to is glycine. The molecule glycine has you know, the amino acid has a lot of health benefits. We know it's involved in GABA synthesis. We know it's involved in phase two detoxification. Uh, we know glycine is just a great amino acid. So the way that I like to train people as a kind of a health coach, if you will, nutritionist, I like to help people think through, you wanna look at the magnesium chelating agent that also has health benefits. Okay, so in the context of magnesium, magnesium glycinate or malate, they both have benefits. So it makes more sense then if you're going to take a magnesium supplement to consider that. And so that's why for systemic absorption, I recommend one of those two forms, diamagnesium malate or magnesium bisglycinate chelate, okay? Now, when it comes to enhancing uh, brain levels of magnesium, there's a form called magnesium l 3 and 8 so 3 and 8 is a molecule that in and of itself has some health benefits. We did a wonderful podcast with Dr. James DiNucleantonio, the author of the best-selling book, The Salt Fix, and The Longevity Solution that was co-authored with Dr. Jason Fung. So I'll put links to those books below and links to that webinar replay if you're interested in checking it out. But magnesium l 3 8 has been shown to support brain health and possibly memory and things along those lines because it can enhance the cerebral spinal fluid and CNS uptake of the magnesium, that particular form. So it's a little bit more expensive than say the magnesium citrate or the magnesium uh, diamag malate or the bisglycinate chelate forms. But if you're looking for systemic and uh, more uh, absorption within the brain and the potential benefits there. Um, so I take it as a kind of a nootropic. You can do up to two to four grams per day. I just do two grams per day. It's pretty affordable. It's about a dollar a day per, at that dose, so not too bad. Uh, but I feel like it does offer a nice cognitive boost in addition to intermittent fasting and exercise. So those are kind of the forms. So again, you want to think about, okay, what am I trying to do here with the magnesium? We've done other videos about probiotics and how probiotics should really be reframed and we should kind of readjust how we view taking probiotics into being more strain specific. Now we can kind of think about that with magnesium. Okay, so if I wanna have a bowel movement, is taking a bunch of magnesium l 3 8 the best option? No, that's not gonna really be ideal. Um, but if I'm constipated, you betcha I'm gonna load up on magnesium citrate. So we need to think about the carrier and what it's doing and oftentimes I recommend to folks, you know, it, this is true for magnesium and other minerals too. For example, let's talk about chromium. Chromium is often sold as a chromium um, picolinic. Picolinic acid is the, the chelating agent that has no health benefits whatsoever. So there's a, a chromium, I think it's polynicotinate bound to nicotinic acid. I recommend that over the picolinate form. So you always wanna think about the, the form that you're taking 
whatever it is, whether it's zinc, you're like, okay, if I'm taking zinc oxide, what is oxide doing for me? If I could choose between zinc oxide and zinc glycinate, go with the glycinate because glycine has health benefits. So you always want to think about the carrier and that's why I recommend working with a nutrition company that's thinking through these things and not just throwing you some random commodity like magnesium or zinc without thinking through what's best for you, okay? So hopefully you enjoyed this video. As always, I'd love to hear from you. Please type in the comments below which magnesium form is your favorite and why, I would love to know. And if you wanna support our, our company, we have a, a product line called MyoScience with an X, M-Y-O-X-C-I-E-N-C-E.com. And your comments mean a lot to me. So if you've been taking magnesium, I would love to know which magnesium form you most benefit from and which one you've been taking and how you feel. And if you wanna consider some of our magnesium products that I've personally curated to help you customize which form for your specific health goals, whether it's post sauna therapy, exercise, intermittent fasting, sleep support, memory support, check out our website, myoscience.com. I'll put links below to our magnesium support formulas. Thanks for tuning all the way in. Hope you have an awesome day. We'll catch you in a future video down the road.